In this video, we'll be talking about iShares Global Clean Energy. It's going to be a very exciting one, guys, because iShares Global Clean Energy, also called iClean, is a great ETF and exchange traded fund. Um, and I think you'll really enjoy uh, getting to know this fund a little bit better. You'll definitely regret if you don't um, look into, into this uh, potential investment. So let's get right into it here. I'm not going to waste any time. First of all, when you look at this fund, expense ratio jumps, jumps right out of the page, 0 0.42. You might not think that that is very low, but actually compared to the competition, uh, compared to other um, clean energy ETFs, um, this is pro probably the lowest you, that you, you can find. Um, so that is great. Um, a year to date performance, not looking too good. Um, this has nothing to do with the general performance of the ETF. We'll take a look at that uh, later, but that is simply some unlock in um, the sector here. So um, maybe now could actually be a great time to, to get in at a, a little bit of a discount. Coming down here to the assets under management, we can see that uh, there is $6.2 billion under management and it is listed on the NASDAQ. Also something that I want you to keep an eye out for is the PE ratio. If you don't know what the PE ratio is, it's short for price to earnings ratio and I'll put a little sign up here so you can see what it means. Um, and we're looking pretty average for the industry. Um, you might say that this is high, but if you have ever tried um, looking into companies uh, like yeah, clean energy, renewable energy stocks before, you'll know uh, that the price to earnings ratios on these stocks are high, which means the valuations are high. Why? That is because the projected growth in the future, the expected uh, growth in the future is incredibly high. Uh, we expect this uh, whole sector to grow incredibly um, fast. So that is why that we price these um, companies a little bit higher. The number of holdings in this ETF is 83. That is a nice diversified portfolio. The only thing I have in uh, to complain about is that the top 10 holdings are very heavy. It's actually about 50% of the whole ETF um, is laying in the top 10 holdings. So we have a bit of an overweight there, um, but still nicely diversified in a lot of different great companies. Where in the world are these companies actually located? Well, we have um, actually not that much in the United States, which I really like because normally we see 60, 70, 80% of the stocks in the, U in the US and here we actually uh, close to 40. That is nice for a change to not everything to be uh, saturated in, in uh, just the United States. I love the United States and uh, the stocks over there, but I don't want it to be over 60%. That is simply the limit for me. So I'm glad that we have something in, uh, in Denmark and China and uh, yeah, these other countries. Looking at the sectors, we can see that around 40% um, of the fund uh, consists of uh, electric utilities. And then we have 14% in semiconductors, renewable e electricity, electric utilities. That is companies that make solar panels and windmills and hydrogen, uh, yeah, all these things, right? Vestas Wind System, for example, uh, they are in the electric utilities uh, sector. And on the other hand, we have something like renewable electricity. That is actually the, the companies that harvest the electricity and then sell it. And we have a company like Ørsted uh, that buys these um, windmills from companies like Vestas and solar panels, and then they sell the power, operate the farms, do all sorts of things. So that is uh, kind of the main uh, sectors up here. We have semiconductor equipment, uh, that is, uh, for example, one that you might have heard of is m -phase. They make uh, chips and inverters and stuff like that. So those are probably uh, the companies that you might have heard of before. We are also nicely diversified in different, all kinds of different sectors. And really, if you're buying an ETF, you're probably uh, wanting to get some more diversification. Otherwise, you might just uh, pick some stocks and uh, buy those. Uh, the reason that you want to buy an ETF is often to get some more exposure. And uh, yeah, that is definitely safe to say that you get a lot of exposure in this ETF. And that is uh, something um, to be very happy about. I have some things written down here that I want to talk about. The Biden administration focuses more on sustainability. Huge infrastructure package uh, just came out. Offshore wind, solar. Uh, this money goes to, to projects like that. We have the low expense ratio, we have a pretty low PE ratio, 
it's nicely diversified in stocks and it's all over uh, the world also diversified and we have outside of america i really like that great performance let's look at the performance i clean of course we had this huge rally right here and uh, it might have been it might have been a little bit too much uh, valuation were crazy high around this time um i of course diamond held uh, diamond handed my uh, all my stocks through this time so uh, i lost a bit of money uh, to that but now it's looking like a great great investment actually if you ask me we are kind of uh, trading a little bit sideways here uh, for the past couple of months and um, I don't know with you but I, I think that uh, we can easily uh, bump up to to these highs again here with what is that 30 percent up in short uh, in a short amount of time I think maybe December we could uh, we could be at these levels again um, so I, I really believe in the whole sector and actually I don't own any of um, of iShares Global Clean Energy myself. I'm going uh, another way where I pick out my own clean energy stocks and invest in those. Uh, but you can do it however you like. I'm, I'm definitely uh, bullish on this ETF right here. So great performance overall. If you look at the year to date, that is where you get a little bit disappointed. But really, it's nothing to cry about. Um, we had... Uh, we, st we still have great performance over time. And that brings me to my other point that I've written down right here. Uh, buying, uh, buying iClean is for the long term. I think uh, we can have more of these corrections, ups and downs, uh, where simply it's, it's not the stocks that is anything wrong with those. It is simply um, people shifting their mindsets from other things, it's inflation, it's this and that. Um, all sorts of things play into especially these high growth stocks so i think if you're buying this etf uh, you have to have a long-term mindset let me just switch over here um, i'm thinking about five to ten years is where i would say uh, if you need the money in a year or two years i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't invest in a, in a etf like this i wouldn't even invest in an etf at all um, because my my time horizon is at least five years for every single ETF um, out there. So if you need to buy a house within five years, stay away from from this ETF. But if you have like five to ten years, uh, then you're looking at some uh, great, great, great growth uh, in this ETF, if you ask me. So nothing is guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, uh, the fundamentals of this fund are definitely in place. Um, and I think uh, we can expect uh, a lot of growth. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will like and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.